we're not talking about her equestrian exploits. No, apparently she's a keen lighthouse bagger, which involves visiting as many as possible, and it's a pastime that's growing in popularity. So we sent our reporter Stuart Leeds along the east coast to see how many he could bag in one day. Orford Ness Lighthouse there, built back in 1792 and the first stop on my day of lighthouse bagging, or at least it would be if it wasn't at the end of a 13 mile spit which actually runs parallel to the coastline. It was 8am and time to head north to bag some more. Most of the country's lighthouses are owned and maintained by Trinity House, the lighthouse authority for England and Wales. Southwold's 31-metre tower came into operation in 1890, and like many lighthouses, it's often open to the public. Now that satellite technology is so advanced, I was wondering why seafarers would still need the light from a cliff-top tower to navigate. They are st still very much in use. Um, the, the mariner has to have more than one uh, navigation aid at his disposal. The GPS is one of them, but the actual visual aid, the lighthouse, is another. Lowestoft is home to the country's oldest lighthouse site that's still in use today. Some Lowestoft lighthouse facts for you. There's been a lighthouse here since 1609, although the present one was built in 1874. The tower is 16 metres high and the light itself has a range of 23 nautical miles. Haysborough Lighthouse is the only one in the country that's privately operated. It's now run by a group of volunteers who stepped in when Trinity House had decided to close it. The small fishing boat community actually use a lighthouse. They couldn't afford the high-tech um, satellite navigation equipment. And also, this is part of our village heritage. This lighthouse is known and loved all over the world by people who spent their childhood holidays here or lived in the village when they were young. Finally, after travelling more than 80 miles up our region's coastline, we ended our day in Cromer. Cromer's lighthouse was built in 1833 and its lamp flashes once every five seconds with a range of 23 nautical miles. So today I've bagged myself Orford Ness Lighthouse, Southwold, Lowestoft and Haysborough Lighthouses and ended up here at Cromer Lighthouse. Princess Anne may have visited around 80, but I wonder if she's ever managed to bag five in one day. Stuart Leiths, Anglia News, Cromer. I'd never heard of lighthouse bagging before. Extraordinary, isn't it? I've heard of Princess Anne. No? Well, let's catch up.